What up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. About to get on one of these things, you feel me? What's good with the watch? Night's watch, man. Um, Yeah, Knox, he dropped this shit an hour later too, bro. <laughs> uh, but uh, what I will say is that Screw did his thing on that last diss record, dog. You know what I'm saying? And that's saying a lot for me, bro. Y'all don't even fuck with Screw, bro. But like I said, I got I to gotta keep it 100. And that uh, that his Not Like Us remix was was fire. I mean, he did his thing, and he gave a lot of shit that uh, Knox should address. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely want to see what he's talking about an hour later. Like, there's no way that, there's no way Knox responded to what the fuck, or all of what the fuck Screw said in an hour, bro. He must have had this shit loaded in the clip already. But um, we here now. Um, before we tap in, though, man, make sure y'all pull up the shop, StevenKnight.com for the drip. Uh, like the video, like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. If you ain't subscribed, if you think you're subscribed, make sure you're still subscribed. And uh, yeah, let's peep. It says Knox Hill Stalker Screwface Dis. All right. All right. Today's episode of Cornhusker TV. Week how you was hyping about some best up here, bro. You did it for the cloud. Your opinion doesn't count. You think Tom McDonald goes hard, dude. Uh. I got the one and only Mr. Tom McDonald. Hey. Hangover gang in the building. Uh, bruh, you, dog. dog, Knox's receipts don't require any bars, bruh. You know what I mean? Like, he rebutted your shit with footage. <laughs> bruh, how you go goddamn talk shit about Knox or anybody for that matter? Big up in Ben Shapiro or Tom McDonald. You call Nation trash, but you out here, <laughs> you out here doing interviews with a buddy, bruh. That's, that, that, that looks wild, dog. I mean, I mean, you're a hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, period, dog. Hypocrite, a hypocrite, and it's a hypocrite and clout chase. That's what the fuck it is. Because clearly, you know where screws stand on this shit, bro. Clearly, like, it's written on his forehead, dog. Like, victim, liberal, fuck the white man. You know what I'm saying? That's written on his goddamn forehead and shit. So, like, if you are on camera with the ops, the only reason why you're on camera with the ops is for that. So that proves everything Knox was saying, dog. This is getting good, bro. <laughs> this is getting good, dog. Let's get it, bro. Woo! -hoo. I got the one and only Mr. Not sponsored by the Nebraska Beef Council. Dude, uh, I got the one and only Mr. Tom McDonald himself. Hang over a game in the building. Uh, thank yeah, you, dog. What's your career, dog? Here, uh, with the with the common folk like me and just you know having a having a little conversation and stuff. And I didn't think it was gonna be taken the way it was taken, but I got a wave of your people coming in like, oh, he just why would you do that? That was hard. Uh, that was hard. That was hard. Was crazy. So, hey, and then you know Tom a real one too, bro, because I'm sure Screw said some fuck shit, some race baiting ass shit, right? I mean, I know, I know firsthand. I never, I never was on no race baiting shit, dog. When I was first, when I got first exposed to time, I was not fucking with time at all, bro. I ain't like any of it, bro. You know what I mean? And 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 his uh his stands was giving me the business, no ditty, right? So I can only imagine how they fired it. Screw ass. He definitely did the. He took the whole race angle. You know what I'm saying? Which just shows time is a real fucking one, bro. Because he know who we about to be on camera with. Don't give a fuck, bro. Like, hey, you said what you said. I'm going to pull up, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Say it to my face. I know that's the type of time it was on, bro. I know that type of time it was on, dog. And then Screw going, you know, flip the script and act like he all key key and buddy buddy. But you know that motherfucker thinking, white devil, white devil, bro. <laughs> this shit fake as fuck, dog. This shit fake as fuck, bro. <laughs> Knox don't need to say nothing, bro. Let's get it. I just wanted everybody to know that we cool. We cool. We good. Because the lyrics are literally on the bottom of the screen and everything. Yeah. Where it's like, I'm clearly shouting you out. I had done, when I did my reaction about I'm not black, that's what I respect the most. And it's funny, uh, I'm glad I get to tell you this while the camera's rolling. So when you came out and you said, like, what you said and from your point of view, that's why I literally said the messenger is important. Hangovergang.com if you want that autograph album. Yeah. Hey. Bro, hey, <laughs> it 
It don't matter what the fuck Knox say at this point, bro. What? No, I am interested in the Amar Arbery shit. I want to see what Knox would uh, respond to that if he does, bro. But like, but it's like after this, you can't give any credibility towards anything Screwface say, dog, because the clout chase is real. <laughs> the fake shit is real. He said the messenger is important, dog. When you say the messenger is important, you're saying you're a fucking racist. <laughs> the messenger is important. That means, hey, I'm racist, dog. You white, you can't say that. <laughs> you got time if you want that autograph album. Yeah. Fake, bro. That shit cringy fake. Okay, Daryl, this is now therapy session 101. It is now eight. Let's continue our last discussion. Tell me about those insecurities you've been having. I don't understand. I had it all set up. It was all formulated. I baited him. I set the trap. I had the snare ready to go. The lines that he said, who was feeding him information? I hope he doesn't know about that one, Nero. I'm not even going to talk about it. Wait, how can he even drop that fast? And he's rebuttaling what I'm saying? Who told him I was coming? He's got to know something. I am not a stalker. Oh dear, they fear me, but I'm just talking. But if you bought them shells, I got slugs. If you salty, like saltines, send them crackers to the crib. I used to follow him around, showing up on wanted. I was following this. Shout out to uh, Crip too. This is like, this sounds like Knox trying to embody his Kendrick Lamar. This gives me Meet the Grams vibes. The little twist on it, you know what I'm saying? He is rapping from the perspective of screw, creative, right? But the whole darker type of sound to it, bro. Like, y'all trying to get busy on this shit, bro. Oh dear, they fear me, but I'm just talking. But if you bought them shells, I got slugs. If you salty, like saltines, send them crackers to the crib. I used to follow him around, showing up on wanted. I was following the sounds, how he move with his music, taking notes, acting like I was amused, share his views. Now I'm really sharing those, you know. Gone to the smoke, then it's on to the next one. In and out of hope. Should you remember that video I wasn't even in? Y'all were dissing my Rap, I saw the trend. Rode around all day in the van. You shooting in? I said it was dope. I saw a blow, but when the blow. Yeah, Knox got inside information, boy. <laughs> Knox got a mole, bruh. He's saying that Screw was out here stalking the white rappers. The Crip, gone. Who else did he say? Acting like he was fucking with him, but he wasn't really fucking with him. He was just trying to do that shit for the clout. Acting like he shared the acting like he shared their views, but now he's sharing their views because Screw has uh, grown as a, a, a creator and shit. He's getting views now on his YouTube and shit. Like probably more views than Crip at this point. Yeah, not uh, Knox. The fuck going on, bro? The fuck going on, dog? This, this is hard, bro. Dope, I saw a blow, but when the blowback happened, turned around, start reacting, started laughing at my friends like it's funny how I'm rapping, dissing them. It's funny, right? Was it shady? I don't know. But shout out my boy Easy. I saw him making meals and I thought to get a piece easy. Hit him up and paid the price for the feature, so we're homies. But when it came time for the video, he's acting like he doesn't know me. Nah, fuck that. I know I paid for the audio, but I'ma make him owe me. I got a hold of his zip code rolling on his home. See, I know that there's some lines that an artist shouldn't cross, but who knows? I'm trying to grow. I've been starving, swear to God. Bro, so I, I heard about this, though. I heard about this, dog. When I heard about it, I didn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? It's like, it wasn't, it wasn't newsworthy or some shit. But it's when I knew fam was fake as fuck. But, like, he ain't, he's not important enough for that to be an issue. Like, the only reason why I was even thinking about it because of the whole coon tuber situation, dog. But, that's, but hearing that easy meal shit, like, cuz actually just pulled up unannounced to easy meal's crib trying to, shoot a fucking video when like easy's business was trying to separate themselves dog but screw you know said track his ass down <laughs> let's shoot this video dog so clearly knox knows so it must be it must be out there somewhere i forgot where the fuck i saw it dog but like this that's been knox's angle pretty much to show to, to highlight how fake this motherfucker is bro y'all gonna believe what y'all want to fucking believe and it really ain't that important it's entertaining dog but like I definitely gotta voice my opinion on it, bro, because I, I know cuz it's fake as shit. Because the only reason why 
I even have an issue with screw personally because of the whole coon tuber shit. And it's not even much of an issue, dog. Like, I, it does not that fucking important. I just know where to place motherfuckers like that, and it's not even worth the conversation. Maybe for clicks, if y'all wanted to fucking see it, bro. But like, I would have done it if clicks was that important to me. But the big picture, dog. Like the old the coon tuber shit came out because of his overreaction to a, a easy meal verse, acting like you know what I'm saying he. Him and him and Easy is cool or whatever. Like who we running up on and shit. You know what I'm saying? Island boys, yada 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 yada. But it turns out like Easy don't even fuck with Buddy like that. So yeah, Cuz is fake as shit, dog. Based on that instance alone, you know what I mean, um, I know where to put a motherfucker like that. And you know, that's one of the one of the main things I pride my channel on is you know authenticity, genuineness, right? I I I. I know that's one of the biggest reasons why people fuck with this channel because um, I'm not trying to do no fake shit for the views and clearly Screw does that in Knox Hill is letting y'all know too. Anyway, let's continue. On his home. See, I know that there's some lines that an artist shouldn't cross, but who knows? I'm trying to grow. I've been starving, swear to God. So I pull a Hail Mary and I touch down on him, swear I'm harmless. He opens up the door, steps back, he's all astonished. I know we never talked about it, but I told him that he promised. I'm like, yo, let's get this vid shot. I brought my cameraman, I know this shit's hot. But then this bitch manager just shows up and he starts to shit talk. Starts calling me a stalker, please. I'm like, bitch, stop. But I paid so much money, even gave him all that publishing. I'm desperate to be seen in public with him. So I run around and vlog it, even though he looks uncomfortable. Said, I'm just trying to get the bills they sleeping on his huxtable in his room he's getting lit to push through all the awkwardness i'm like yo let's get this vlog and play the song and say we going off on this take advantage of these nice guys i'm used to it abusing them i gotta show that it's true and i ain't really using them screw with them but as long as his fans think we're cool then i'm spinning click click for them clicks it ain't real but i'm filming while i keep on grinning i just keep on winning i'm not a stalker right and this motherfucker, Screwface, right? he just decided he was going to pop up. Just pop up out of the blue in the is house. This is where I heard this shit? What? Where is this from? It sounds like this verse was definitely written already because he didn't address any of the shit that, that uh, Screw said in his diss record, dog. So I imagine when Screw responds to this, Knox will respond to the shit that Screw already put out there, right? Um, but, uh... We, we talking about exposing people, bro. Like, Knox is definitely doing the exposing. Screw is trying to call Knox a racist. Knox is calling Screw a fake-ass clout chaser. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he got the receipts to prove it. Decided he was going to pop up. Just pop up out of the blue in the house. Right? Nobody knew about it. He, he asked for the address, I guess, and, and he got it. And then one day, he was just at the house. You know what I mean? Like three or four days later, after I told him to stop contacting him directly, he went, he went directly to him again, and, and now he showed up at the house. And now he was telling this artist that he wants to shoot a music video for Righteous and Ratchet. What, what was I supposed to do? I am not a stalker. I'm a friend who cares. I keep on messaging you easy, but you're not saying playing with this, bro. He ain't playing with this one, dog. Every day I know we barely hung and I forced that, but I swear I care. But look at this clown Stevie with his air and flares. How dare that he critique you, my dog? I swear I'm rolling there. You see, drama is a formula I'm used yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, he talking about the shit I was just talking about, bro. How dare Stevie give a critique on the Easy Meal verse? We pulling up, right? It's the shit I just said, dog. Some it's fake shit, bro. Directly to him again, and and now he showed up at the house, and now he was telling this artist that. He wants to shoot a music video for Righteous and Ratchet. What, what was I supposed to do? I am not a stalker. I'm a friend who cares. I keep on messaging you easy, but you're never there. I know we barely hung and I forced that, but I swear I care. But look at this clown Stevie with his air and flares. How dare that he critique you, my dog? I swear I'm rolling there. You see, drama is a formula I'm used to. Yo. Let me stir the pot. I'll go record it up on YouTube. Yo. Digging in the trash, but I'll go tag him as a <clears throat> too. Don't be afraid to hit up screw. You in a fix, you know that I got tools too. But when he fires back, he's about that. Who knew? Maybe I took it too far, so I keep it cool i know i said i ride for you but i'm losing views and i ain't really about that life i'm just a dude hey that shit happened too bro hey Knox, you did your thing dog 
You did your thing, bro. I remember that shit happened too. When I did my response videos and shit, and his folks stopped fucking with him. Well, I'm gonna say they stopped fucking with him, bro. It ain't that goddamn serious. Maybe it was for y'all, dog. But I do remember uh, reading the comments to his responses to me during that whole coon tube easy meal situation, bro. And yeah, and the comments was killing his ass, bro. Because you know you can you can read through all that bullshit, man. Yeah, I mean, it was a it was a, a clout chase. It was like a, a bait and grab, trying to get some views off some some shit that wasn't there. You feel me? No, maybe I took it too far, so I keep it cool. I know I said I ride for you, but I'm losing views. And I ain't really about that life. I'm just a dude up on YouTube. I know that I'm a village boy and flash my Nigerian roots like I can shoot too. But I was just a kid. I don't remember Lagos, but I'm acting like I cruise through. I know it helps my cred and all these lines that I shoot through. But I am not a stalker. I am for the culture. I see his boy Knox. That boy high, but he a vulture. Let me tear him down. They say he's a better rapper and reactor. I'm aware wear his crown and throw lies to say he's compromised. Now I spread awareness round. So I keep on throwing subs to catch him in the snare I found I hit him with the drums like Metro Boomer When I play the sound, I am not a stalker I'm just jealous that he's celebrated Let me find some ways to call him racist I can paint it, fuck affiliations with Shady It's easy, let me aim it in the scope with Joe How come Paul ain't follow me? When I check in on his pages Then I see Knox face there I'm so mad I wanna rage quit Yo, easy, hit me up, G It should be easy, simple Tell him follow me, please Dropping Addy and I'm peeling to the building Benzino popping one settlement I'm from the village Know the pilgrim I'm not a villain I'm just hungry for the op Knock knock on M's block I know I love slime shady But remember A stalker I am not I'm not a stalker Stop Your call has been forwarded To an automated voice messaging system Easy mill Is not available At the tone Please record your message Yo easy Hit me up please Please <laughs> Let's like let's, let's just go to mom's spaghetti Or something man I, I need you. That's good to let it out. I think that's all for today, Daryl. Until the next time. Ooh, yeah, this shit getting this shit getting tight, bro. This shit getting spicy, dog. Yeah, Knox is definitely up, bro. He definitely up, bro. Like at this point, even though Screw fought back, you know what I'm saying. His second round was hard, dog. But at this point, they exposing each other, and it's like whoever who got exposed the most. You know what I'm saying? Only questions I got are about the whole Amal Arbery situation, but even with that, like, Knox made an apology or whatever, you're gonna question where it came from, I guess there is that, dog, but Knox ain't no fucking racist, bro. He's not a fucking racist, dog. You wanna play that angle? You can. Even if Knox was a fucking racist and Screw trying to expose it, Knox is exposing Screw far worse, right? And especially to me because I'm involved in what Knox is doing in these fucking records, bro. And I, I've i been known type of time, screw his own dog. But like I said earlier, it wasn't, it wasn't pressing, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't important enough for me to be trying to address publicly, dog, because I don't really, I don't fuck with him. So it doesn't matter if he's faking that, I just know where to put him. But, but since now Knox is exposing to y'all how fake he is, I'm curious to see y'all thoughts as far as what y'all think about you know, him late, him trying to call Knox a racist, playing a race card, and then Knox calling Screw fake, like a fake-ass clout chaser. Um, but yeah, I, Knox is definitely up, bro. I mean, Screw's song sounded better. His, his his second verse, it sounded better. But I'm talking about dissing, bro. And um, Knox is doing a fucking hellacious job, dog. Fucking Screw up right now. Um, but this is definitely out of nowhere for me. <laughs> I fuck with it regardless. Um, yeah, I did. Knox is doing his thing. Screw is doing his thing. Despite how I feel about the situation, bro. And, um, yeah. Y'all keep it going, bro. Rap beef season is in session. Thoughts. I'm out. Just so everybody knows, this is how we met this piece of shit. Screwface. We met you because you wanted... You wanted somebody to be featured in your song called Righteous and Ratchet, right? So instead of emailing or contacting the management of that artist, what you did was you went on Instagram and messaged him directly. What that artist did was, of course, 
he's a professional. He told his management that you were contacting him for a feature and you wanted to know how much it would cost. So what I did was I answered you on your email and I told you how much it would cost for, your, for you to have him on, the, on your Righteous and Ratchet song. So everything was cool, but this is what you kept on doing. You kept on messaging him on IG directly instead of going to the management, which is super unprofessional. You were pretending like you guys were friends when you weren't. So what I did was I messaged you and I told you to stop contacting him directly, that if you wanted something to do with him, you would have to message us, the management, which is the proper way to get, you know what I mean, to get a feature on, on the artist. First of all, you are not friends. Let's, let's get that cleared up. You are not friends. Well, anyways, after everything that was going on and we everybody agreed, you already agreed to the price that he was going to feature. You know what I mean? There's no music video involved in that stuff. Nothing. And guess what you did? <laughs> For some reason, you got, you got the address, right? And this motherfucker, Screwface, he just decided he was going to pop up. Just pop up out of the blue in the house. Nobody knew about it. He, he asked for the address, I guess, and, and he got it. And then one day, he was just at the house. You know what I mean? Like three or four days later, after I told him to stop contacting him directly, he went directly to him again, and, and now he showed up at the house. And now he was telling this artist that he wants to shoot a music video for Righteous and Ratchet. So what, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> like, 